It's the first instance where someone complains bitterly and yet uses it, such a number. Is that, does that still happen now, do you think, or, or is it, or... Oh, do we complain bitterly about things that we're on the verge of understanding, but not quite? You know, uh, I'm about to say yes, but I want to say also that there's a kind of communal experience of what one might call um, elegant, elegant confusion. That is to say, we realize that we should complain, and yet that's where the pleasure is. We're at the verge, we're at the limit. We're just at the rim of what we understand. And so we either, if you wish, uh, suppress any complaint or uh, rejoice in the fact that it's about to be something to complain about. Do you think that has been a change in mathematics, or do you think Cardano no. was doing it in his way there? Oh no, I would, uh, I would, uh, I would, I would bet that. Uh, <clears throat> even though I just said that the communal experience leads us to this, I would bet that it goes all the way back. Actually, could go back to uh, the fifth century BC, for example. And I know, you, I know, mm -hmm. you've moved on a little bit from high school mathematics. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, cubic, cubic equations is, um, yeah. is still something we don't understand. This emotion yeah. being expressed by Cardano though, about the square root of negative numbers, mm -hmm. it's, still, it's still a thing when you first find out about them, isn't it? Like a school student when they're teaching. Yeah. Having, yeah. Like, this is yeah. still a, a human experience. A thrill, <laughs> you might say. Yeah? <laughs> well, I think so.